Hello and welcome, all friends and devotees of um, yoga and meditation and Buddhist studies. Uh, today is Sunday, the 6th of September, 2015. Uh, for those who are new, I'll advise you to proceed to the videos, uh, to the uh, websites I've attached to these videos and make as much use of them as you can. We're, we are going to proceed uh, with our lectures reading um, from the uh, works of Grandmaster Ching Kong. We're going to proceed uh, reading. Uh, I'll advise those who are new, time is very limited, so I'll advise I got to run this morning, Sunday, I have to really run. Um, um, I'll advise those who are new to proceed to the websites I've attached to these videos. On that website, you should find uh, the book to understand Buddhism. Click on it, and then we are reading from the last paragraph on page 32. Uh, we're just going to read very briefly. So if you may, let me begin reading. And if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, if you are, something is not clear, you, gotta, you really want to reach me, um, feel free to reach me at c.aburime, my email address, c.aburime at uh, hotmail.com, or colorcollege at hotmail.com. Uh, if you are not clear, proceed to my previous videos. Try to watch the previous videos and then you, it will make it clearer for you because time is really limited. I'm going to have to be very fast. So I'm reading from the beginning of, um, uh, from the ending, actually, of page 32, the last pass paragraph. Uh, Once there is a good number of lectures to help others clearly understand the principles of the Buddha's teachings, they will in turn gradually help others in reaching, awakening, to break through delusion and escape suffering, thus attaining happiness. This is the most beneficial way for one to put the body mind into practice. To believe deeply in the law of cause and effect does not simply refer to what goes around comes around. The profound meaning is being mindful of Buddha Amitabha is the cause, and becoming Buddha is the consequence. For the pure land practitioner, reciting and upholding Mahayana Sutras can be accomplished by reciting the Infinite Life Sutra. Delving deeply into one method can be achieved by concentrating on one sutra. If one does not think that this is uh, sufficient, the four other sutras and one commentary of the pure land school could also be recited. These six are more than enough. Simply allow them to take root and flourish. Finally, one encourages others on the path of enlightenment. The first three parts of the third condition benefit the self. The last one teaches us to dedicate the benefits we have received to all others. To help them to understand, practice, and succeed in their cultivation of Buddhism. When attaining achievement in the Buddha's teachings, one succeeds in attaining infinite wisdom, the six harmonies. The three conditions are the first of the five guidelines of the foundation for pure land practice. We have yet to become Buddhas or to depart from the world, from this world, that is. Even when one becomes a Buddha, one does not leave all behind as Buddhas want to help all the Buddhas want to help all sentient beings in the ten directions. How does one get along with others harmoniously? The Buddha set six principles for us to follow. Not only are these applicable within a Buddhist community, but also in all organizations or groups. When we take refuge in the triple jewels, that is the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, uh, there is a saying, to return and rely upon the Sangha the most worthy of respect. The most worthy of respect of all groups. Group means a gathering of people. In our society, the smallest group of people is a family. A larger one is a nation. And the largest is the union of many nations. Actually, the whole world is a group of which we all are a part. 
why is a Buddhist community the most precious of all groups? The six rules that the Buddha set for Buddhist communities are something all its members follow, making this group the most worthy of respect and of being a role model for all. Folks, I have to stop at this point. I really have to run. But as I said, you contemplate. You contemplate, you meditate, you reflect on these uh, teachings. Uh, and you let me know if you have any questions, any concerns, read through the book. I'll also arm you. Let me quickly arm you. There's a secret. What you should try to do is read through. For instance, we've just got up to page 34 now on to understand Buddhism. So why don't you read page 35 and 36 and 37 and 38 and 39 and 40 so that when we come together next time, you've already gone through. So that each time we come together, it's more or less like a revision. We're going through a second time. So I'll advise you to always read ahead. That's why I attach the books on the website to this video. Just go to the websites on this video, click on them, and read through ahead of time. You may download, you may print. Have these books handy. Read, read them ahead of time. Contemplate on them, meditate on them, reflect on them, you know, so that when we come together to discuss them, you are already, you are sort of going through it like a revision. You're going through it a second time, not the first time. That's the best way to go through it. And after that, if you still have any questions, feel free to contact me. You know my email address, c.aburime at hotmail.com or colorcollege at hotmail.com. Color spelled British, colorcollege at hotmail.com, C-O-L-O-U-R, C-O-L-L-E-G, colorcollege at hotmail.com. And c.aburime, aburime is my last name, A-B-U-R-I-M-E, c.aburime at hotmail.com. So if you are not sure, always go back to previous videos and that will make it easier for you have to run. Thanks, folks. Enjoy your weekend. Have a most pleasant Sunday. By God's grace. Namo Amitofo.